Hi, my name's Rodney. Mr. Rodney to my friends. I'm a backcountry dad. <laughs> Today I'm here with, who are you? Doug Schroeder. D Doug Schroeder. He, uh, Doug has, um, we're trying to do Bear Basin without doing any trail twice. We've decided that after looking at it on paper, it's impossible. So now we're just gonna try and do Bear Basin as efficiently as possible. Doug has, uh, created the path for us today and he claims it's definitely the shortest possible so we'll see if he's if he's right or wrong. i don't make any claims you don't make any claims <laughs> so what is our first rising sun rising sun to polar express to ditch witch is that the first three that's first three that's the first three all right let's check it out Our first section is done, Rising Sun. Uh, for those of you that are doing it, Rising Sun starts at the corrals. We're doing it backwards. And we'll have to finish up on Rising Sun because it's actually a lollipop. And there's one section, there's a cutoff section that we're gonna count as part of the contest. Which is this? Nope, oh. which is the one at the top. Oh. We're not gonna do, right now we're at Max Connector. We're not including that in the, in the challenge. So Rising Sun to Polar Express, just so everybody knows. How long did that take us, Doug? What'd it say? Uh, 30 minutes. All right, we're at Ditch Witch. So we did Rising Sun, a little bit of Polar Express, and now we're going to do Ditch Witch. We do have to, are you, in your plan, do we have to come all the way back down to this portion of Polar Express? No. No, okay. So, we'll figure that out in the rules. All right, this is Ditch Witch. This is the preferred way, for me anyway, to ride Ditch Witch. Coming up this stuff is, I think, a little hard, but uh, some people like the exercise. Woo! All right, everybody knows here we take a right. Not everybody knows that, but ditch which goes right, not left. Okay. So we just finished ditch witch. All right, so here's a decision if you're doing it our way. West Traverse, West tra Westy or Grand Traverse? You gotta come back to this point at some point. I'm assuming we're doing Westy. Yep, all the way back to the parking lot. Of Bear, of Bear, ba Bear Basin. Basin. Okay, that's a, good, that's a good note for people. No matter where you start, you have to hit all three parking lots. The one on 55, the main trailhead, and the corrals. Just to keep it interesting. All right, Hoss, let's do it. Uh, you know, overall, I don't feel too bad. Uh, we've been riding a lot, so that fitness is okay, but uh, it's been a lot of work these last couple of weeks. Some more chair time, that kills me. I hurt my back. Had some doctor appointments for that. I think I'm just about back from that, uh, which is good because you know, it's hard to train and be in shape when you can't train to be in shape. Okay. Well, how'd we do? All right. So now we're going to do baby bear? Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so here's, now take a left to go to Pol Polar Express. All right, for you cheaters out there, you gotta go around through the parking lot. No cutting the corner, people. Whoa! I thought I was gonna hit that. Uh... <laughs> All right, well, let's do Sleepy Hollow for the millionth time this year. Yeah, always, always I like it. This is kind of fun, Doug. I'm taking the shooter line. Whew. Yellow to Blue Ridge loop. And we're gonna do all, are we taking this to? To the drain. Okay. Well, we wanna do this section twice because this is the shorter section. We don't wanna do this section twice. So we'll go that way and we'll do this section twice. Yeah, so stay left here. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're on the honor system here. You got to go around the sign. No shortcuts. So now we're going to take the rest of Blue Ridge to uh, the drain. We're going to the drain? Okay. And we're not including this little spur to the left because it's not an official trail, I guess. It doesn't have a sign, right? Ugh. Yeah, this little spur here has no sign. It's well-traveled spur now. My favorite probably on the area, but it's technically not on any map. So we're gonna count it as not part of the challenge. Yep. Here's the drain, upper and lower drain. We're gonna do the drain. Starts with a nice overview view here. And we hit all these dang rocks. So what do you got us doing next? Lower drain? Lower drain? Okay. Uh, uh. This is fun. That was fun. So we've already been here once. All right, we're on the, we rode this one up earlier. Now we're repeating our trails. That doesn't do good stuff for our mileage, but we couldn't figure out how to not ride some things twice. All right, we hit this trailhead twice, but that's okay. So what we're trying to do, get to, now we're trying to get all the way to the Brewers Connector again, or the Grand Traverse. Uh, okay. So now we get to take a right and climb up this mofo. Thank you for that. Hey, but don't worry about resting at all. You just keep going. All right, well, we're back at the junction of Ditchwich and Westy. We're heading up the Grand Traverse all the way back to the beginning of Sleepy Hollow. We're going all the way back across the mountain. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, we got the big climb out of the way in the Grand Traverse, most of it anyway. Holy cow, starting to hit a wall just a little bit. I think we should make a rule about rewarding people who do it in the least amount of climbing because I think it'd be a valuable way to set it out just as far as your time is concerned. Uh, like I've been thinking about our route and I'm pretty sure we could do it backwards of what we're doing it and eliminate a lot of the climbing. Um, not that I'm afraid of climbing, but we've literally been climbing almost every route 
Uh, there's very few exceptions. And I think the way he's got us finishing is climbing all the way up Devil's Delight, which is, you know, I'm seeing the advantage of an e-bike right now, let's put it that way. So. Okay, let's see. Is he from the yeah. Uh -oh. Flat tire. Doug was going too fast. Imagine that. And we have a flat. But what do we have left? All we have left is what? You just need to go, when we get down here, I'll show you and you ought to ride it. Just finish it off. Yeah. Doug doing the walk of shame. <laughs> We've all been there. Okay. We turned on to Dell's Delight, which is the last one we have to knock off. All right, coming to the end. I am approaching the corrals, the rising sun. Right between these trees, we missed it. Oh yeah, he's back. We did it. That yeah, it works. I think it's way easier to communicate without 16.2 miles. Two hours and 25 minutes moving time. All right, he beat me back walking. I don't know what that means to say about me, but the, uh, <laughs> our, uh, I'll, I'll do our, I'll put it up on the web, but ours is, according to our initial analysis, 16.2 miles in two hours and 24 minutes and some seconds. I don't know what the vertical was yet. We have to let it process. Uh, we decided Polar Express is a no-go because it's boring and it's not single track. So we're trying to keep it to well-marked single track trails. So our route was Rising Sun. We did catch Pol Polar Express for a little bit down to Ditch Witch, to West Face or Westy, to Baby Bear, brought Polar Ex through the parking lot, brought Polar Express back, did Sleepy Hollow up to the Blue Ridge, did the loop, in there so we did the blue ridge connector back to blue ridge back to the blue ridge connector out to the drain main drain upper drain lower drain we had to do westy again to upper, the, the up yeah the last half of it then we did grand traverse then we hit polar express to blue ridge again took that up to the three-way did delia's delight Della's delight and rising sun back and that's 16.2 uh we wrote a few things twice but I think we can do better if we really sit down. Now Now that Polar Express is not part of the equation, we might think differently about it, right? Yeah, I yeah. would think so, yeah. Round two, we changed two rules. Polar Express is not part of the equation anymore because that made it too hard. And having to go to the Corral's parking lot, there's not really a trail that goes there, so we're taking that out. So we're, we're gonna start today at, I guess you would call this the main trailhead, yeah. right? We'll Jason. go through. We'll go through the I-55 trailhead, or Highway 55 trailhead, and we will hit all marked single track trails. Anything else? We gotta beat, we gotta beat 16.2 miles. Let's do it. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> Thank you.
we'll put all this online. We challenge you, Doug, do you challenge? Oh yeah. We yeah. challenge you to beat our time or beat our mileage, be better. And if somebody can do it without doing anything twice, wow, I don't know, we're gonna have a huge party. I don't know what that means, but it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all we, right. we wanna know what it is. We wanna know what it is. Maybe we'll rent out Salmon River and just, you know, see what happens, you know?